Aaliyah is only deified because she died. You know, if she had lived, you Negroes would be calling her every fast tailed girl known to man because she was taken advantage of by a predator. All the men you love to cite now as attempting to prey on her, like Damon Dash, Biggie, Jay Z, you know, because they're guilty, that would become evidence of her fastness if she was still alive. How do I know? Easy. Jay Z talks about scoping Beyonce when she was 16 and he was 29, talking some she's gonna be mine predator bullshit. And you all call that nonsense couple goals. You know, you never address how her parents sold her and how he's a freaking pedo. Rest in peace, my ass. You all don't want to make it so black girls can live in peace. You only want to protect her now because it doesn't cost you anything. She is gone. She's now the perfect victim. But if Aaliyah had lived, you all would have destroyed her to protect R. Kelly. How do I know this? Easy. You don't care about the little black girls he, you know, molested who are still alive. You know, you didn't care about that 13-year-old victim he graped on camera. You didn't care about the teenage girls he had locked up in his house. Somehow that was all their fault. The culture is trash and y'all are some freaking hypocrites. You love to talk about white people. Woody and Soon Yi, you know, Elvis Presley and Lisa Marie Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis and that little cousin of his. But when black men marry their underage victims daily, all y'all say is how cute. And we don't have to have any more conversations about what Aaliyah would have been like if she had lived. I can tell you what she would have been. Beyonce. Beyonce. She either would have been trapped in a marriage to a man who took advantage of her when she was a child, like Beyonce, or she would have been outside of that paradigm, you know, trying to make her career work while being blackballed by everybody inside the industry because she spoke out against a child groomer and an assaulter. Because y'all don't care about victims. You don't care about black women. You definitely don't care about black girls. Only the convenient ones, only the silent ones, only the ones who are gone on and can't speak out anymore. Those become the convenient victims that you can put a halo on and feel good about protecting now that they don't actually need any help. But the women who actually need something, screw them. Well, happy Black History Month to you. Like and follow for more. Just for the edification of those who don't know, uh, R. Kelly only married her when she was 15 and he was 29 because he thought she was pregnant, but he had been sleeping with her for years, or I should say, graping her for years before that. Also, Biggie wrote a song talking about how attractive she was to him when she was 12. And in case that statement wasn't clear enough, he meant sexually attractive, not, you know, cute, not pretty.